anything that you want to do in life, the same rules apply to it. You got to be focused, you got to be determined, and you got to be confident. You got to know what you want and know what come out of it and really have faith and do that. No matter what it is, you want to be a rapper, ball player. It's not about talent. Nothing in this world is based off talent. It's based off hard work and dedication. You could have the talent and get to where you want overnight, but if you don't plan to stay there and have a proper strategy and hard work and focus to stay at the top, you will be back at the bottom. And it's really just a matter of having faith and staying humble and knowing what you want and working hard like as far as anything in life like seriously bro the same rules apply to the same shit like you got to really put that time in and stay you know first off shout out to uh g herbo you know what i'm saying i i rock with him like when he speaks i don't really listen to his music like that but like when he talks and put messages out there i kind of like rock with him on that um, but what i want to say is um he is, G Herbo is, is is correct. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are side pieces in our own life, man. Like, man, we, we really, you know what I'm saying? And I was once a victim of this too. So I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking from experience. We are so locked into what women are doing and we're not locked in to, to the grind. We're not locked in to the hustle. And we are side dishes in our own movie. Like we see the stars, but we're not even the star of our own movie because we're putting other people's needs and things of that nature in once before our own selves. I ain't even gonna lie. Like what I see in this generation right now is like everybody want to get rich quick. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to go viral overnight. And you know what I'm saying? Let me just speak on the going viral, right? Imagine if you go viral, but you now you got to do it again. And a lot of times people that go viral can't repeat that because you know what? They had no consistency. They had no structure. See, a lot of us have no structure. We have no guidance. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what we want. You heard G. Yobo say you gotta be confident in what you want. There's a difference between being confident and being arrogant. But again, a lot of us are so brainwashed by social media and what we see, we want everything tomorrow. So we don't wanna put in time and dedication because at the end of the day, you heard what he says. Talent does not beat hard work. Talent will never beat hard work. And again, if you're putting a woman first and you're so worried about what a woman is doing and why she not texting you back, it's because you're not putting yourself first. That's why. You know what I'm saying? That's why she's not hitting you back. You know, I know people see the titles to my videos and the imagery and all that stuff and they think, oh man, he, he must talk to my women all the time. But that's not the case. I'm going to speak to y'all about mindset because this is the biggest thing right here. A man that tries to chase two rabbits catches none. If you try to chase your, um, what you want to do with your life and chase women at the same time, you're not going to get neither. You're going to get misery. And that's what happened in my life. I felt like I was focused, but yet I'm always thinking about why she ain't hit me back or why she don't like me or why he acting like that towards me or why did he do that? I'm being all in my feelings. And that's the number one rule in life. You can't take things personally. That was my biggest issue, taking things personally and making assumptions. That's what controlled my whole life. I was always taking things personally instead of worrying about myself and what I thought about myself. And I let the outside world control me instead of me controlling the outside world. Control of it. Don't let nobody else be in control of your shit. Or don't let nobody else sidetrack you where you not in control of it no more. You feel me? Don't worry about nobody's opinion, none of that. Cause at the end of the day, you born by yourself and you die by yourself. It's like really like we live in this generation where nobody wants to build, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we all so worried about how to get women, but the real answer is to really lock into who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you gotta love yourself. Like I didn't love myself for so many years. You know what I'm saying? Like I always felt like I wasn't enough. I wasn't good enough. So I'm seeking outside validation from other people, other things to make me feel good about myself. But you got to make yourself feel good about yourself because people are going to treat you how you treat yourself. So however you talk to yourself in the mirror or however you look at yourself, if you don't see yourself as valuable, why should other people see you as valuable? And a lot of us, we let not get in the woman we want or, you know, what I'm saying maybe these different opportunities. We let that deter us. And we, we let these things make us like we feel like we're not good enough. But you can't let those things stop you because when you let those things stop you, you will never advance in life. You will never become more. How could you? Because your whole mindset, what you're thinking about all the time is how you're not good enough. Instead of thinking I'm good enough, forget what they said. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep improving. I'm going to keep getting better. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what the naysayers are saying. And it, and it ultimately comes down to discipline. A lot of us don't have discipline. 
and I know this, that's that's boring. You know what I'm saying? I know none of us want to be disciplined, but at the end of the day, that's what gets you forward. The consistency has to turn into a lifestyle, whether that's getting into the gym, you got to be disciplined with it. You got to go when you don't feel good. See, a lot of this stuff is about doing even when you don't feel like doing it. Sometimes I don't feel like recording videos, but I know what goals I got to reach. I know I have value to offer. You know what I'm saying? I know that this is what I want to do in my life. So I need to get up and go do it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things I don't feel like doing, but I got to do it because it has to get done. Man, what y'all got to understand about women is when it comes to women, I know y'all like to hear about women, right? When it comes to women, like they put themselves first. That's why a lot of times they control more of the dynamics because they put themselves first. So that means if they don't like a dude, they're not going to rock with them. And men don't understand that. Men just think, because we so used to like proving ourselves and putting in the work and that don't work when it comes to women. You know what I'm saying? It's differently because they go off how they feel. You know what I'm saying? Not just because you like them. You think just because you like her. I mean, what value do you have to offer? Do you have any value to yourself? Well, the whole point of me saying that is that you have to put what you can control as your top priority in your life. A lot of us, including myself, you know what I'm saying? I was so worried about um, the things I couldn't control, the people who I couldn't control. You know, I'm worried about all these things I couldn't control. Then one day it clicked in my head. I got to worry about the one person who I can't control. Me, because most of these things we experience in life is how we react to it. A lot, a lot of life just happens, but we can control how we, for one, show up in life and two, how we react to situations. You know what I'm saying? You got to think like this. Your mind has to be on a different level. You know what I'm saying? You can't worry about this girl rejecting you and she having six foot ten standards. And this girl said this. And what do I need to do to get her to like me? No, it shouldn't have to be that difficult. When women like you, when women want to invest in you, they make it easy for you. They make it easy for you. You don't even have to worry about that. Women are going to make it difficult for you when they don't like you. They're trying to give you context clues. You got to put the pieces together. See, what I did is I turned that pain of coming up short in life and all those different things. You got to turn that into the fuel. What's the motivation? Because, yeah, I can sit here and speak to you and motivate you for a little second. But what's your motivation? What's your story? You know what I'm saying? What's your fuel? What's your gas? What lights you up? You know what I'm saying? You have to find that spark within you to give you the motivation to go. Don't use, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Let me keep texting her to, to convince her to like me and all of this and all the, no, use that same energy and put it into the craft. Put that sexual energy into the mission because you can't catch two rabbits at once. So you might as well lock into yourself because when you put the work into yourself, you get a ROI. But when you put it into a woman who doesn't like you, all you're gonna get back is, you are gonna get a ROI, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you're going to get back. What, what you going to get back? You're going to get back frustration, disappointment. You know what I'm saying? Resentment. Yeah, you're going to get all that back. You're going to get the negative emotions. You, when you put it into yourself, you start to improve. Your life starts to improve. Your environment starts to change. Your mindset uh, starts to change. You start to see life in different perspectives. You start to move a certain way. You start to hang out with only certain people. You start to watch certain things. You start to stay in the gym. So what I'm saying is when you put it into yourself, you become better and then women become a byproduct of your life instead of being the opposite when you're chasing women and then your, your, your focus, your craft is a side piece in your life. You're not even the main dish in your life, but yet you want that woman to be your main dish, but you don't know who you don't, you don't even know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where you're going to be at in five years. So how should she want to follow your lead when you don't know where you're going? And that's the whole point I want to make to this message. Like, we got to focus on the craft because the craft is what's going to get you what you want. But again, a lot of us, we want success tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You got to, man, I started learning this stuff. I'm speaking to y'all now. I started to learn this stuff 10 years ago when I got to a point where I was like, man, I'm, enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm 20, I'm 29. I learned it. I started to get on my journey of self-help at 20. <laughs> so people don't understand this stuff doesn't happen overnight. You got to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? That was 10 years ago when I started to learn this stuff. And I started to, to date more and more women and get experience and learn from my mistakes. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men out here, we not, we, we playing it safe. We on online dating. We not taking risks. You know what I'm saying? We being scary. You got to get the experience, but you got to be working on yourself. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like all of y'all. I'm just like everybody else. But except I didn't blame others. I blamed myself and I got to work. I got to work back in 2012, 2013. I got to work for real. So people don't understand it's going to take a minute to do whichever you want to do. And like, yeah, you got it. I heard from a lot of people that you have to think of success in terms of decades. You know what I'm saying? Stuff is not going to happen tomorrow. I heard this saying that somebody said, man, it took me 10 years to blow up overnight. Think about that. It took me 10 years to blow up overnight. <laughs> so that's the whole point I want to make with you guys today. We just got to be locked into what really matters, man. Like, yes, I love women. I love dealing with women. But at the end of the day, they're a byproduct to my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't if, it, if it's the, the energy is not there and it's not mutual, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not chasing for it. I'm not looking for it. I'm locked into this right here. I'm locked into going to the gym. I'm locked into improving my mindset. I'm locked into learning new things about life. For real. All right, guys, so that's my video for today. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys. Of course, as always, it's all love. Um, let's make sure we continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys, and get it going in the algorithm, guys. And, and other than that, guys, I'm gone.